I yield to, to Mr. Denham. Thank you. In California, in the Salinas Valley and Central Valley, we've been hit uh, with a huge amount of safety, food safety concerns over the last uh, decade or so. Um, I'm sure that you're all concerned about the pending implementation of the Food Safety Modernization Act, uh, which looks like it'll treat strawberries the same as walnuts or citrus. And recently, a district court in California announced that it, it had found that FDA had unreasonably delayed implementation of food safety regulation and has ordered the FDA to agree to an implementation timetable with an activist group by May 20th. Do you believe that it would be appropriate, considering the complexity of the issue uh, involving the FDA, to, to rush to, through these regulations? If you could each food safety, Mr. Bushu. Anytime you have a broad-based regulation that deals with food safety, you're going to come across some problems, and I think you've, you've already allocated to some of them. I don't think we ought to rush into any program, um, and I think the Food Safety, the food safety Modernization Act, uh, like most, like most uh, bills, is not perfect, uh, but I think there needs to be time spent doing it correctly so that we don't have the problems of strawberries that we do have with treating the same as tree fruit. Mr. Brown? Uh, yes, I think it's uh, food safety issue is very important. I think FDA's position right now, I think it's too quick. We can't we can't implement this uh, FDA by May the twenty by the sixth. Um, I think a, uh, a term for terminating and relooking at the whole bill would be advised. Uh, we as farmers, we we try our best and do everything we possibly can food safety wise already. So let's get it right when we do it. Let's don't, let's don't hurry into anything. And we, we certainly, as farmers, don't want to hurt anybody, want anybody sick. So we do everything we possibly can right now is food safety. So, as I say, let's, let's get it right before we terminate. Our Thank you. Ms. Freetally? Mm -hmm. um, well, I, along with the rest of our industry, have consistently supported strong, mandatory, uh, enforceable, commodity-specific food safety practices based on uh, the best available science uh, applicable to both domestic and foreign produce. Um, having said that, uh, it's, I believe that it's very important um, to take the time necessary to allow for thoughtful comments um, on the proposed rules and um, allow the continued uh, careful analysis of those rules. Thank you. And on the uh, chemical side of things, pesticides, um, Herbicides, uh, what are the challenges facing each of you uh, regarding access to fumigants for crops now that methyl bromide has been phased out and now that uh, uh, sulfurofluoride is now being proposed as well? What are the other options? Uh, what are your concerns? What do you think could be next? Certainly the access to crop protection products, including the fumigants you've mentioned, are critical to specialty crop producers. Um, over the years, we've seen a decline in the number of, of products available to small crops because of the cost of implementation through FIFRA and the EPA. We recognize that those products are critical to our production, our production needs. The lack of any kind of a, of a usable, safe uh, fumigant creates a lot of problems for rotational issues and especially the kind of crops that we raise uh, on a fairly intense basis. So we would encourage anything this committee could do to uh, work through EPA to make those things happen on a much quicker level. Thank you, Mr. Brown. I think there's an opportunity right now for, for you and in, in our Congress to do something about the handling of the way EPA has handled their uh, chemistries that they're uh, trying to get in the process. We, uh, we need to be able to have new chemistries coming out on a regular basis because of, uh, we have restrictions on uh, resistance management. Uh, where you're managing your chemicals and your products is, is a great tool, but some people don't manage their, their chemicals and their products like they should, so we get resistances uh, to these chemicals, and they're not doing us any good. So we need some help to alleviate and be able to return some of these newer chemistries to, and that are, will be available to us that we can use. Thank you. And, Ms. Freetelli, my time is getting short, but let me just ask one, one other quick question. On crop insurance, we face uh, some unique challenges in California, primarily because we're a specialty crop state. Um, and this crop insurance doesn't seem to provide a good risk management tool for specialty crops. Can you comment on that? 
Yes, uh, for the uh, there is no crop insurance available to uh, our company for the commodities that uh, that we grow. They're really um, uh, outside of uh, disaster policies for hail and such. Um, so our company we we um, participate in the uh, NAP program, and um, as I'm sure all of you are aware, that uh, program um, it's it's really um, I would I would say that in the event of a complete crop loss, it's a beneficial program to participate in. Um, but it is uh, it's not a, as effective as um, some type of private insurance, obviously, would be for the fruits and vegetables that we grow. Thank you, ma'am. 